Hello everyone, it's Jim from Nice Work Pal, and we're on our way to Disney's Vero Beach. Vero Beach is about an hour and 40 minutes away from the Walt Disney World area, so it's a little bit more of a car ride to get there, but we're going to check it out. So Dawn, I have just one question for you. What? Are we there yet? No. Well, we finally made it to Vero Beach. I'm so excited. This place looks really nice so far. It's very nice. Yeah. Uh, you can see when you go in the lobby, which is very beautiful, uh, right out the back door, which is where we are now, uh, you can see water just over the, the, the plants, but not really a good view. We're going to have to go around to catch that. But we got the whole lay of the land, so we're going to find the food, the activities, the pool, the beach. We're going to try it all. Let's go. Let's go. The Wind and Waves Pool Bar is a great place to get a drink, and it's conveniently located next to the pool. It is a bar, not a lounge, so great place to get a drink. But if you want a snack, a few steps down to the, to the quick service. So we're here at Wind and Waves Market. It's kind of our first stop to find a little bite to eat, and there's a lot of great stuff here. Burgers, pizza, uh, chicken strips, but also nice sandwiches and a make-your-own salad. I can't wait for that. That's what I ordered. Yeah. But interesting fact is that they they have Dole Whips here. They do, although Key Lime Dole Whip is currently not available. I do, like the, I do like the Key Lime. <laughs> I do. Good. But regular will have to do. And then they also have the regular like snacks and drinks and you know grab and go. Yeah, they have a lot of a lot of great desserts in the in the cupboard here. Whoopie pies. Okay, they're Mickey shaped. That's crazy. I can see that in my future. Yeah. So one looks chocolate and one looks I don't know maybe vanilla. I'm thinking so. I'll just take a little taste and see which one I want. Yeah. So Dawn, there's a little hidden Mickey on your salad. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> that was a pretty good looking salad. Uh, make your own. You chose all the toppings, but they put it together. Uh, it was about 11 something for the salad. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad. Yeah. And then for about nine bucks, I got this pepperoni pizza that looks suspiciously like a lot of other pizzas in Disney World. It does, the yeah. pillow pizza. It but looks and smells amazing though. It does, and it was kind of what I was craving when I saw it on the menu, so that's what I went for. But there were so many other choices, I think we're going to be fine. We were initially a little worried that there was uh, not going to be a ton of choices here, and if we were here for a few days, maybe we'd have to venture off property, and not to say we can't, but... Uh, we don't have to. We don't have to. There's a lot of food here. Dawn, I have a great feeling about this room. I think it's going to be pretty nice. We're up here on the fourth floor and we know we have a, an ocean view, so uh, I'm really excited about this. We're here at 2419. Well, let's go inside. Let's go. First thing I see when I walk in is the kitchen area. Looks like we got a sink, a refrigerator, a microwave, and probably, yeah, some dishes. Very nice. And a toaster and some coffee. That's what we need. Next up is the bathroom. It looks like we have a sink area outside of the actual bathroom where the toilet and shower are, which is great. Somebody can be getting ready while someone else is in the shower. Bathroom's Did on the larger side. Yes, it is. It's There's nice. a lot of space here. I've already kind of peeked ahead here and like I'm kind of amazed by how much floor space there is in this room. And I'm also, of course, distracted by the fact that there is water out the window. But uh, this room is huge. It has a great pull down bed. These things are awesome. Well, we won't need it because it's just the two of us. But if you had more people coming, these beds 
are typically just as comfortable as a regular bed as opposed to, you know, the old pull-out couch ones that usually gave you a big bar across yeah. the back. But like, there's a lot of space over here. There's a table with a couple of chairs, king size bed. And each side has a, a very spacious night table with plugs and USBs. There's a, a dresser over on the left with plugs and USBs. The TV looks kind of far. <laughs> I wonder if it comes out. Let me see if the TV moves. Oh yeah, okay, so it'll swing out. Yeah, it moves a little bit. That's enough for us to be able to yeah. catch a show. Uh, we probably won't watch a lot of TV, no. but sometimes we might want something for no. five minutes at night, like but the Disney Channel. This is my favorite part right here. This is amazing. Now, Dawn, we could totally have coffee out here tomorrow, but do you think we can be up in time for sunrise? I think we're going to try to make sunrise for sure. That's going to be pretty early It's here. over here somewhere. Here on the east coast of Florida. We'll have to look up what time it is so we don't oversleep. But this is really nice. We're going to spend some time at the beach tomorrow, and that's... Uh, I think down where we'll be, where, where the uh, green and tan umbrellas are, I think that's the, the Disney section of the beach. Yeah, we had to uh, reserve them. Yeah, we had, a, we had to reserve one in advance. They do keep one or two available for last minute walk-ups, but uh, we thought we'd better stake our claim before uh, it gets sold out. This, this place doesn't really have a lot of rooms. There's like 211 rooms in total, and it's a mix of studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms. They have some three bedroom standalone villas that uh, I'm sure are super cool, but that's a little bit much for the two of us. Super expensive, I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah, or a lot of points. It's, yeah. I don't even, honestly, I don't even uh, know what this costs out of pocket anymore, but uh, I know it is available. You can rent it as a member of the public, but it is a better deal if you are a DVC member. As a DVC rental, it is one of the more economical choices as compared to, say, the resorts in Disney World or Disneyland. Um, we didn't really talk about that too much. The, the resort here is one of just a couple that are not actually on Disney property. Um, in, like, Disney World or Disneyland, there's this one and there's Hilton Head. Uh, they are... And that's in... South Carolina? I believe so, yeah. This is the first one they built off property in 1995. And yeah, it's not that big. Everything's really kind of close by, isn't it? Like, It's kind of cozy. It is. I like it. Like the lobby looks nice. It looks like a good hotel lobby, but like as soon as you walk out the back door and take a right, you're walking by the sit down restaurant. Around the corner is the bar and the pool and the quick service place. And the walkway to the beach, it's all right there. The walkway to the beach, what was it like? It looked like it was maybe like 20 feet. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so you don't see the ocean super close when you first get here because they have all that shrubbery down there. But it's really close. This is a great getaway if you don't want to do a lot of walking. All right, let's take a look at this pool. Here is the pool. It is Mickey Mouse shaped. There's only a couple like it. And they have this cool slide, too. Um, I'm going to ride that slide. It doesn't look like anything I can't handle or unlike the other Disney resorts, but still uh, a very nice spot. And you'll notice that this is just steps away from the main building, um, which means at any time you can walk on up to the bar uh, or go in and get a snack, whatever you want to do. In between the buildings here and the pool, Tucked away is a little hot tub, in case Florida wasn't hot enough for you. So just behind the pool uh, is a row of buildings. There's uh, the, the fitness club, Anchors Away. <laughs> uh, there are some restrooms. And uh, then there is Ebb and Flow Rentals. That's where we picked up our towels. I'm gonna take a quick peek and see what else they have to rent. So the Ebb and Flow Rental Counter has lots of cool things. They're open from eight till eight and they have bike rentals, uh, fishing stuff, 
Uh, it looks like you can also sign up for a brewery tour or some yoga lessons. All kinds of good stuff. Here's the beginning of the Port Holes Mini Golf. Uh, as the sign says, see Ebb and Flow Poolside for equipment. The first hole has no theme. Two. It's only got nine holes. That's probably enough. Uh, supposedly Peter Pan themed. There's lots of cannons and treasure chests and stuff. Uh, looks like it would keep you amused for just a little while. So beyond the water slide is a great splash pad type area. It is the Tiger Lily ship. And uh, yeah, lots of water splashing slides. Lots of fun for the little kids. Jim's getting ready to go down the slide. So the ride was a little slow, I'm trying not to take it too personally, like, I hope I didn't like weigh it down too much. <laughs> the green cabin room is another lounge that's on the second floor inside the main building. Uh, they are open daily for breakfast, as well as uh, cocktails from 5 to 10 p.m. In between, they do some special experiences, um, but I'm hoping to get in there for a drink tonight. All right, so we're at the Wind and Waves Market for dinner as well. We came back, because uh, we didn't have any big dinner plans. Uh, Dawn, you got the meatloaf, and it looks like meatloaf. I like that there's a little something to dunk it in. But I got the corn chowder bread bowl, and it looks fantastic. Yeah, you should give it a try. It seems like a tiny little portion, smaller than I thought it was going to be. Mm. You know, ooh, that's pretty not bad. Um, I kind of went for it because I wasn't like overly hungry. Uh, maybe because the, you know, the lunch pizza was a little bready or maybe because I've had a couple of drinks. I don't know. Corn, potato, little bacon. Yeah, and creamy. Uh, it, the funny thing is, is like, I'm not like a big clam chowder guy. Don't really like the seafood stuff that much. But corn chowder, I'm all about the corn chowder. And a bread bowl? Come on. All right, I'm going to try your your meatloaf if that's okay. They got yeah. a little gravy on there. A little gravy and I got it with some mac and cheese and some roasted carrots. The meatloaf is, is it okay? It's uh, nothing special. I didn't think the mac and cheese was really anything special either. No, but it's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's, it's not just... Bad. It's, it's nothing rave worthy, I suppose. Yeah. Um, it's I've a quick better. service meal and uh, it shows a little bit. That being said, just a lot of good choices here. Uh, so, tomorrow night we get to try the sit down restaurant. We'll probably make that its own video and, and link it just because it should be its own experience. We'll see how the food is, we'll see what the atmosphere is like, and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe so that you can catch that one too. Okay. This is gonna be awesome. Look at this whoopie pie. It's nice and thick, full of cream. Mmm, it nice smells good candy. too. It does. It comes in vanilla or chocolate, so there's some choices. I, I hate to do this, but I kind of like break his ear off, right? right? You just gotta take a bite out of it. Just bite it. It looks very good. It looks very moist. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the best part of the meal. You will like this. All right, so Dawn, arrival day was pretty cool. It was fun. Yeah, I mean, we checked out our room. We checked out like what's at the resort. And then we kind of had a pool day. Yeah, we was, just hung by the pool. Yeah, which was super nice. I love a good pool day. Um, Know, drinks, going swimming, hot tubs, slides, what's not to love? And of course, good tunes all day. All day long. They were playing all different kinds of music. It was all over the place, wasn't it? All Everything from place. like Leonard Skinner to Dua Lipa. Um, just a little of everything. Everything. Uh, but we did peek down here at the beach a couple times. Tomorrow is our beach day. Mm -hmm. uh, where we've uh, rented a couple, you know, chairs and an umbrella. 
and they promised to get us drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure how much swimming I'm going to do in the ocean. I'm not feeling. I might put my toes in, but that's about it I'm, in an ocean. I'm going to feel the temperature of For the me. water. Yeah. They, why do they got to put the warning about the sharks yeah. right on, on the entrance? There's a warning about sharks. So I was like, nah. <laughs> I mean, I know they have to, but still, it puts a damper on the deck. It really does. Uh, that being said, I think uh, a, li a little time uh, lounging on the beach will be nice. We will bring you there. Uh, but before we call it a day, there's still, uh, still the matter of a campfire tonight. Yep, we're going to go check out the campfire. Yeah, maybe roast a marshmallow or two. Of course! They yeah. got Mickey marshmallows. We can't stay out too late because we we got to be up bright and early to... Uh, Hoping to catch the sunrise. Yeah. Uh, we might have to come down to the beach. I reluctantly agreed to that, but uh, we're not sure exactly where the sun is going to come up here. You know, to the left, to the right. We want to make sure we see it. Well, it's going to be east, but all we know is where the coast is. I don't think we'll be able to see it from our room. Because we're kind of like tucked around a corner. Yeah, I mean, we can see the water, but yeah. if it's like, if it's too far to the right, I can see how we might miss it. I think it's going to be too far to the right. So, so I'd rather be down here. So we're going to, we're going to make our coffees and we will get down here to the beach and uh, catch the sunrise. Start our day off right. Yep. tell you the last time I was at the ocean. This is crazy. Let's see how the weather... Oh my goodness. That is cold. I am so used to pools. I'm such a baby. <laughs> it's very beautiful. I will say that. What do you think, Dawn? Water a little cold? It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, it, it caught me off guard when it went over my feet, but you're right, it isn't that bad. And then here's the, the look back from the, the ocean. You can uh, see houses on the end, but then um, this, is, this is our resort. I gotta say, I'm really digging Vero Beach. Just everything is so close together. It's a beach vacation, it's a poolside vacation. There's activities left and right. Um, it really is quite nice. So that's my report from the beach. It's super windy out here. It's nice and sunny though, and uh, the water is not as nice as pool water, but it isn't bad for the ocean. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to sit in my chair and uh, relax with a drink. And uh, there's actually table service to our to our chairs, so I'm going to be living it up today. So one important note: uh, the the rentals down here at the beach. There are chair and umbrella sets. There are chairs and little. They call them cabanas, but they're just like little clamshell coverings. Uh, you have to rent them, and you can rent them in advance if you do. Great. If you don't, you're going to be waiting in line at 9 a.m. when the, the shack opens, and you're going to get whatever's left if there is anything. Uh, so there's a little sign here at our umbrella saying we can scan for the menu, and yeah, they're going to uh, be serving out here from uh, from 11 to 4 drinks, food, you name it. So Vero Beach. Vero Beach. 
was a lot of fun and a different kind of trip for us. Definitely. This, this place is really a little out of the way, but a lot of fun and a lot more of a beach vibe. Because there's an actual beach here. Uh, not one of those little fake roped off ones like in Disney World. They got the real ocean here. That being said, uh, this was a different kind of trip. And Dawn, you were a little worried I wasn't going to like it. Yeah, I feel like this is more my vibe than yours. I like the beach. You don't really like the beach so much. I don't love the beach, but one of the great things about this beach was how close it was to the resort. And we could just get up and change our minds and go to the pool. Um, so we went to the beach for a couple of hours, lounged around, and it was great. I got to see and touch the ocean and... Uh, soak it in for a little bit, but I didn't feel trapped there all day. The resort itself was very beautiful and very much what I expect from a Disney level hotel. The room, the room was actually well, super large. It was larger than I expected it was going to be. Yeah, it was really, really big. It had that pull down bed. We could have easily had four people in there. It was very, very big and it was right in the main building, which was also super convenient. We had that, a nice pool, uh, not a pool view, an ocean, an ocean view. view. The ocean view was so great, and the sunrise was straight ahead, which we were prepared to go to the beach if we had to, to see the sunrise, but it was great to roll out of bed and just look out the, out the balcony and see it there. The room was equipped with everything we would need, Disney style. There was coffee, there was a refrigerator and microwave. The beds were comfortable. The TV was big, a little far away. Yeah, that was a tad far away. And there were plenty of plugs, which is one of the other things we're always looking for. And the bathroom was nice. It had all the great Disney products in it. Nothing to complain about, really. And the, the, I'll go back to the lobby real quick. It's, it smelled like a Disney resort. It, I don't know if it was like Polynesian contemporary kind of scent? I don't know which scent it was, but I've smelled that before in a Disney resort. A very clean scent. And just transported you to Disney. The lobby was grand enough without being too big, and branching off of it was most of the main amenities, like the sit-down restaurant, Wind and Waves, which we did go to, and we're going to make a separate video about that, and we'll link it below. It'll probably come out right after this one and on the other end of the building was the spa which we we looked at but we didn't do any of their services and on the second floor was the lounge which we uh, also went to the same night as the wind and waves grill so you'll see that there too outside there's the pool the pool was fantastic a great disney pool with a great disney slide the slide. I typically don't do the slides, but the slide was pretty cool. And we learned that the trick was to get low. Lay down and you will pick up the speed. It got a little, it got a lot fast. <laughs> it did. It did. Right next to the pool, all kinds of amenities. There was the bar, there was the quick service location, which, which was quick servicey. Uh, but we had one or two really good things in there. The whoopie pie was so amazing wasn't it? I really liked it. That was so good. And the variety was incredible. They had a lot of choices and some specials every night. So if you're here for a couple of days, it's not a big deal to find some food there. Yeah, you'll find something. Yeah. And behind the pool is the rentals and the community hall where there's some kids' activities. There's the weight room if you really can't live without your workout for a couple of days. <laughs> Not my thing, just a lot going on. And then of course, on top of all of that, just a big old list of activities. Every couple of hours, there was something else. Some of them were uh, something you had to pay for, but a lot of them were just fun activities. When you watch our video about, uh, about the dinner, we went to the lounge and one of the activities they had was trivia. And you can see how bad we were at it. We were really bad. We were really bad. But you'll see that. You'll see that. <laughs> and of course we did the campfire. And there was a whole bunch of other things we did not do. And you could learn about turtles and stuff like that if that if you're 
like into nature there's a lot of stuff about turtles here i didn't really enjoy the campfire the campfire was weird it was a sing-along which is fine it's fine it, yeah but they had s'mores and and you they, know maybe it's our age too and the s'mores were free the s'mores you were free just, as many you as you want you didn't just get the, yeah. the no. marshmallows you got the chocolate and the graham cracker too yeah. for free they weren't mickey shaped but that's okay. They were not that, but that was okay. Genuine Hershey's chocolate. Yes. That was that was really good, and we could have as many as we want, but we opted for just a couple. We heard that the uh, the the person who got the most the record the record yeah was like thirty two. How? That's an entire box of if everything. I, if I had known there was a record to beat, I might have like skipped dinner. Skipped dinner, yeah. <laughs> I could do, I could have done that. Really? 32? Uh, I'm not saying number 32 would have been enjoyable. But I could have done it. Maybe. But anyway, my overall take on this is is that I think Dawn you were worried that I wouldn't find this exciting enough as compared to a Disney vacation in Walt Disney World. But the reality is, is it was just a different kind of fun and excitement. There were a lot of activities. I don't mind hanging out at the pool. For a little while i don't know if i would want to stay here for a whole week. a week yeah i will make one more note it's not much of a nightlife here pretty you're, much everything is you're right winding down at like well i felt like it was like winding down at like six o'clock people started leaving the, uh, the pool. beach closes early yeah. the the pool closes at nine i think the the bar and the food service closes at nine the bar inside the lobby the green cabin room Closes at 10. That's for the night owls. And that's about it. And that's about it. At 10 o'clock, everybody's in bed. But there's a lot of movement early, early in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. There were people on the beach when we were watching the sunrise. Yeah. So, so this, is, this is a different vibe. We had a lot of fun here. If you've ever considered Vero Beach, hopefully you'd know a little bit more about what it's about. Dawn, how'd I do today? Nice work, pal. staked off areas here in the sand I think that might be like sea turtle nests if I'm not mistaken Arr, it's where I buried me treasure 